Well, greetings belligerent first been fine gentlemen and Blair. welcome to another video this time we're doing a review of the sega figure isma is that an a at the end i don't know if that's how you press the uh company name but uh i'm gonna call it fizz for short uh the mitsuri kanroji from almost said jutsu kaisen um demon slayer So while you look at the beautiful footage of the box, uh, not much assembly required for this figure. You just need to pop onto the base and voila, you have a fully assembled masterpiece. You know, overall the paint sculpt this figure is pretty damn good. So here we have the face and it's kind of funny looking at it from this angle because uh, the hair just looks a bit funny. Uh, but it is accurate to how she looks in the uh, hit TV series Seinfeld. And the paint sculpt is very nice. The eyes have been nicely printed, the eyebrows also. And has a nice blush on the cheeks, and also the mouth is nicely neatly done as well. Uh, no issues with the paint on the face at all. And the hair has also been nicely sculpted. See all the little strands of hair, and the uh, braids have also been nicely done. There's the back. Maybe a bit of shedding in the hair would have been nice, but again, it's a basic price figure, so not the worst thing in the world. But anyway, moving down to the body, and as you can see, she has the big boobies, which unfortunately has some cum stains right there. I swear it wasn't me. Uh, all jokes aside, it's just glue, I'm guessing. I hope. She has a button at the top here, and a button at the bottom here. Nothing in the middle though, so she has her tits flapping around when uh, she fights. Shush. The coat has also been nicely sculpted. It's a bit windswept, as she is in a running pose. But again, maybe some paint detailing would have been nice as it's just a basic white. But again, not the worst thing in the world. It looks okay. Down to the skirt, it looks like a skirt. And I'm not too sure if it's the quality of the plastic, but it does get a bit uh, lighter at the ends here. I don't know if that was intentional or just a QC thing. But uh, yeah, just something. Just thought I'd point it out. Anyway, for my fellow scientists out there, we're going to do an upskirt shot now. And uh, let me butt. And legs, they look like legs. And again, nice sculpted detailing there. And she wears those lovely looking flip-flops. Or sandals, I should say. It would have been nice if this little peg piece here was a uh, black, because it kind of looks a bit weird that it's white, but with a black base. Oh yeah, speaking of the base, we do have a simple black base, which uh, is a bit basic, but it does its job, so not the worst thing in the world. So anyway, moving on to the articulation. Shush. And now onto some size comparisons. So here's another one of the more recent uh, Mitsuri figures that was released uh, not too long ago. Maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of months, I don't know. And then here's the Buzz Mod um, Shinobu. So anyway, um, yeah, it's not too bad of a figure. It's actually pretty good. It's got a nice sculpt, nice size to it. And the paint is a bit basic, but it's 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 fine. It's like, It looks good. But, so if you like the character, like the series, or just collect girls with pink and green hair, in a running pose, wielding a sword, has her tits flapping in the breeze, and has green leggings, then this is the perfect figure for you. So anyway, that is it with this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want to do it till next time. Bye.